Hey YouTube, it's Kevin here, West Virginia Piper, um, making my second video. Uh, and I prompted this video is uh, a pipe that I found that I really fell in love with um, and uh, I looked on the tube and very 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 few videos about this pipe um, it's this one right here I'm sorry it's dark I'm in the car it's, uh, it's about 11 o'clock at night uh, can't smoke in the house and I work late so Hopefully the lighting is decent um, enough that you can see me. Savinelli Bing's favorite. Um, love this pipe. Looks awesome. Oh, hello. Feels awesome. So far. So far, smoke's awesome, and uh, this is only my second smoke of it. Um, as far as f to filter or not to filter, as far as the uh, balsa filters that 7LE provides with their, f I decided not to filter this time. Filtered on the first one. I uh, do have the insert in, however, and. Uh, Yeah, but uh, the tobacco is Samuel Gow with uh, medium Virginia Flake. Don't give me a hard time. I'm, I don't think I'm quite ready for the full Virginia Flake yet. I'm still kind of a rookie. Um, but I did try the medium because I do want to, uh, you know, Get into the uh, Virginias and the English uh, blends, and uh, you know I'm not a huge aromatic guy. I do like them from time to time, but um, like the Boswell's blends that I've tried were awesome. Every one I've tried. Um, I just recently got a some Sunset Rum from Milan Tobacconist or. Milan tobacco. I've heard it mentioned both, or said both ways. I'm not sure of the pronunciation. I assume it's Milan tobacco. They're down in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, about three hours away from here. But wasn't going to drive down there. A little too far for me. I did mail order it. Um, Ship real quick. No problems there. Mm. But. When it comes to um, flake tobacco, this is only the second flake. I know it's broken flake, but it's only the second flake I've tried. My first smoke in this pipe was uh, it was luxury bullseye flake, and that was a disaster. I tried the uh, fold and stuff method; didn't really work out. Um, pipe started burning really hot. It was like. Uh, halfway into the bowl and I could not even hold this pipe. I, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I was struggling to keep it lit. I think I'll just rub it out next time until I get a little bit more experience. But, um, as far as the flavor of the tobacco to go, um, I'm real glad I tried these. I'm really liking these Virginia um, these Virginias. Um, not a hundred percent sure on uh, the tobaccos in this. I don't think it's a straight Virginia. Forgive me, guys, for my uh, rookiness. Um, you know, for my ignorance, it's, but uh, I don't know exactly what's in here. Let's find out, shall we? Um, 
but man, sweet. This is smoking real smooth. Um, I just really like this a lot. Um, I have about a pound and a half of uh, Dunhill early morning pipe that I smoked this morning. That's become my pretty much my everyday smoke for the most part. Uh, I'm really enjoying that. And uh, I smoked Boswell's Northwoods in my first video, and uh, that's becoming a, f a favorite of mine too. I've got a lot of tobacco still um, that I haven't tried yet. Um, <clears throat> I'm really kind of hoarding stuff. I bought uh, a bunch of Escudo when uh, Pipes and Cigars had it on special I bought three four tins you buy three get one free um, I got some Squadron Leader in there I've got uh, Orlick Golden Sliced I'm looking forward to trying that I haven't tried that yet I got some Presbyterian I've got some Balkan Sobrani I've got two tins of that um, Cup of Joe's had it just got it last week I haven't opened it yet was it Cup of Joe's? yeah um, I got a tin of Esoterica Pembroke, Pembroke, I think I'm saying it right. Um, I opened the tin because I wanted to smell it. Um, reportedly a cognac top. It smells awesome, I can't wait to try it. I'm branching out guys I'm not I'm not going straight aromatic I'm trying to be uh, adventurous with the tobaccos if there's anything that you think I should try uh, leave me a comment um, send me a message I'm, I'm just looking for <clears throat> real exciting different new good tobaccos to try um, I really like uh, English blends that are fairly heavy on the Latakia. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Um, I know they're milder blends, but I really dig all the Frog Mortons. Uh, Mississippi River is pretty darn good. I got a bunch of that. Um, haven't been a cigar smoker for a long time, and, and actually been, I've smoked uh, some some pretty uh, pretty strong cigars so I think I can handle the high nick tobaccos but I'm not 100% sure um, I can tell you right now that based on what I've read about the uh, you know, nicotine headaches and, and getting sick on it not, not for that at all I'm not interested in getting sick so maybe something uh, medium strength not necessarily mild, but medium strength tobaccos. I'm all down for trying that. And also a question for you guys. We do smoke flake tobacco. Do you guys generally dry this stuff? Um, I didn't let this dry out. I just pulled it out of, out of the jar and... I rubbed it rough, didn't rub it out all the way, but I just gave it a quick rub in my fingers before I packed it. Um, it seems like it's, you know, going down okay. But uh, just curious if it's if it's worth drying out. Will it give me a better smoke? Will it burn cooler? Drier? Will it taste better? I don't know. It's tasting pretty damn good to me right now. Really like um, Samuel Gawith's uh, Medium Virginia Flake. Love this pipe. Love it. Just an awesome shape. Not going to go in my pocket. Not going to travel around with me every day. But um, 
It's a really nice pipe. Another question I'm going to put to you guys, and I'm, you know, I don't want to cover a hundred topics in one video and not have anything to talk about in subsequent videos, but I do want to buy another 7LE pipe next, and I've got it narrowed down to uh, four different shapes. If you're uh, interested in letting me know what you think I should get next, I'm interested in either a, uh, a 122, I think, which is the pot shape, it's a bent, slightly bent pot. Or is it straight? I don't know. It's a pot bowl, pot shape bowl. 320, which I know is an extremely popular shape. Uh, uh, 614, which is a sweet bent shape. I actually saw one in a, uh, in a, not exactly local, but the most local tobacco shop. They had a green alligator. Uh, 614, which I'm not too fond of, but I like the Oscar Lucite with the uh, that Lucite stem, brown, smooth bowl. It's pretty nice. Um, the what is it? 624, which is a bent bulldog shape. So those four shapes. I'm not sure what to get. I'm up in the air. I don't. If I could afford four cigars. I get them all, but uh, like I said in my first, I may have mentioned in my first video, um, after my Christmas, my pipe I got for Christmas from my wife, she created a monster, and I, I own 12 pipes now already, and uh, I don't think I'm going to get away with four more, so if you want to leave a comment or a message to me, let me know what pipe you think I should get, and as uh, soon as I get it, I may do a box opening, or I'll at least... Uh, take it out and smoke it, make a video smoking the pipe, and uh, yeah, it could be fun, I'm looking forward to it, so anyway, thumbs way up on the uh, 7 Ellie Bing's favorite, and thumbs way up on the uh, Sammy Agawa's Medium Virginia Flake, real nice, mellow, smooth, sweet, I could smoke this all day. Alright, YouTube. Till next time, this is Kevin, West Virginia Piper. Have a good night.